Hello everyone, this is Katie Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, we will be talking about how many calories should you eat per day to lose weight. So if you like the video related to total health, I would like to request you all, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and give a thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin this go. How many calories should you eat per day to lose weight? So there is a simple but highly accurate scientific calorie calculator along with five evidence-based tips on how to sustainably reduce your calorie intake. Enter your details in the calculator below to figure out how many calories you should be eating per day to either maintain or lose weight. The calculator is based on the Mifflin ST your equation of formula that numerous studies have shown to be an accurate way of estimating calorie needs. Now, how many calories should you eat on average? The answer to this question depends on numerous factors, including your age, height, current weight, activity level, and metabolic health, among several others. Now, when trying to lose weight, a general rule of thumb is to reduce your calorie intake to 500 fewer calories. Then your body needs to maintain your current weight. This will help you lose weight about one pound, which is 0.45 kg of body weight per week. Now, we will be talking about the woman. The average moderately active woman between the age of Age of uh, 26 to 50 needs to weigh about 2,000 calories per day to maintain her weight and 1,500 calories per day to lose one pound, which is 0.45 kg of weight per week. Women who are active and work more than three miles per day will need to consume 2,200 calories or more daily to maintain their weight and at least 1,700 calories to lose one pound, which is 0.45 kg of weight per week. Young women in their early 20s have higher calorie need. They require about 2,200 calories per day to maintain their weight. Women over age 50 generally require fewer calories. The average moderately active woman over 50 needs about 1,800 calories per day to maintain her weight and 1,300 calories per day to lose one pound, which is 0.45 kg per week. Now we will be talking about the men. The average moderately active man between the ages of 26 to 45 needs 2,600 calories per day to maintain his weight and 2,100 calories per day to lose one, which is 0.45 kg pounds per week. Active men who walk more than three miles per day may require 2,800 to 3,000 calories per day to maintain their weight and 2,300 to 2,500 calories per day to lose one pound of weight per week. Young men ages 19 to 25 have higher energy needs. They require an average of 28 calories per day to maintain their weight and up to 3,000 if they are active to lose one pound per week. Moderately active young men should consume 2,300 to 2,500 calories daily. Now we will be talking about the children. Children have widely varying calorie needs based on their size, age, and activity level. Whereas the Average toddler requires 1,200 to 1,400 calories per day. The average moderately active teenager requires 2,000 to 2,800 calories per day. Active teenage boys require even more. Children who are growing and developing normally and engage in regular physical activity usually don't need to count calories when they are provided with a range of healthy options to eat most moderately. Active kids naturally eat the amount of food their body requires. Now, what are the calories? A calorie is a unit that measures energy. Calories are usually used to measure the energy content of food and beverages. To lose weight, you need to eat fewer calories than your body turns each day. Now, how to reduce calorie intake? Calories are simply a measure of energy to gain weight. You need to consume more calories than you expend. Conversely, you lose weight if you use more calories than you consume. That said, cutting calories without considering which foods you eat is usually not a sustainable way to lose weight. For example, choosing more nutrient-dense foods will the benefit your health more than opting for nutrient poor ones. Though it works for some people, most end up hungry and eventually revert to their old habit. For this reason, it's highly recommended to make a few other permanent changes to help you maintain a calorie deficit in the long term without feeling starved. 
the following evidence-based eating and lifestyle changes have been shown to help people lose weight first one the eat more protein when it comes to losing weight protein is the king of nutrient adding adding protein to your diet is a simple effective way to lose weight with minimal effort studies show that protein both increase your metabolic rate and help curb your appetite because protein require energy to metabolize a high protein diet can increase the number of calories you burn by 80 to 100 calories per day eating protein help you stay fuller longer and may help you consume fewer calories throughout the day one older study showed that people who ate 30 percent of calories from protein ate 441 fewer calories per day in other words you can increase the number of calories you burn and decrease the number of calories you consume simply by adding protein to your diet protein can also help fight cravings in one 2011 study consuming 25 percent of daily calories from protein reduced obsessive thoughts about food by 60 percent as well as the desire to snack later at night by 50 percent then it comes to second part avoid sugary sh- soft drinks and fruit juices another relatively easy change you can make is to eliminate liquid sugar calories from your diet this includes soda fruit juices chocolate milk and other beverages with added sugar your brain doesn't register liquid calories in the same way it registers solid calories for this reason drinking sugary soda doesn't make your brain automatically compensate by having you eat smaller amount of other things instead studies have shown that sugary drinks are strongly linked to an uh, increased risk of obesity with one study in children showing a 60 percent increased risk for each daily serving of a sugar sweetened beverage third drink more water one very simple trick to increase weight loss is to drink more water studies have suggested drinking water can increase the number of calories you burn for up to 90 minutes drinking about eight ounce glasses two liters of water per day make make you burn about 96 more calories however recent studies suggest drinking water may not increase the number of calories you burn the timing of when you drink water may be even more important drinking water immediately before a meal may help reduce hunger and make you eat fewer calories fourth part exercise and lift weight when you eat fewer calories your body compensates by saving energy making you burn fewer calories this is why long-term calorie restriction can significantly reduce your metabolism plus it can lead to a loss of muscle mass muscle is metabolically active so this can reduce your metabolism even further the only proven strategy to prevent this effect is to export or exert your muscle by lifting weight this has been repeatedly shown to prevent muscle loss and stop your metabolism from slowing during long-term calorie restriction fifth part reduce your refined carb intake cutting carb is a very effective way to lose weight as it reduces appetite and make you eat fewer calories studies have shown that eating a low carb diet until fullness can make you lose about two to three times more weight than a calorie restricted low fat diet now what's more low carb diet have many other benefits for health especially for people with type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome yet you don't have to go low carb simply ensure that you eat quality fiber rich carb sources focusing on wool single ingredient food the best online calorie counter many website and app can help you track your calorie intake try using a calorie counter for at least a few days to see how many calories carb protein fat fiber vitamin and mineral you are actually eating seeing the numbers like this can often be eye-opening the bottom line is how many calories you need per day depends on whether you want to maintain lose or gain weight as well as various other factors such as your gender age height current weight activity level and metabolic health reducing calories does not mean starving yourself a few simple dietary and lifestyle changes including exercising properly hydrating and increasing your protein intake can help you lose weight and feel satisfied so that's all about the fitness in this video i hope you all liked it so before proceeding further or ending this video i would like to request you all please please do like or share and subscribe the video so that you will get the notification and you will see the video okay so that's all we will definitely meet in the next video with my another content till then god bless you bye bye and take care